Hello guys, students, parents and friends. Today we're going to work on class number 6 of our program, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Self-Defense. As usual, we're going to start with warm-up drills. Remember we did uh, the burpees, sit-ups, and shoulder touch. Burpees, sit-ups, and shoulder touch, we're going to raise the number, okay? Burpees. Oh, wow. I'm gonna do 20. All right, 20 burps, four, five, 20 times. 30 seconds break, another 20. 30 seconds break, third round, 20 burps, three times. Sit-ups, one, two, three. You're gonna go 20 times. Take a 30 seconds break, round number two, round number three. And shoulder touch. We're gonna do 40, three times. Take a 30 seconds break in between. And then remember, we're gonna do the plus. Burpees, 20, sit-ups, 20. Shoulder touch, 40. Take a 30 seconds break, round number two, round number three. That was the warm-up drill. Let's move on. Class number six, we're continuing to do the standing guillotine that we worked on the last class. Now, we're gonna use a, a backup plan, a plan B, what I like to say. We're gonna pull guard. Remember, in a, in a self-defense situation, in a fight, you don't really wanna sit back and pull guard. That's not jiu-jitsu. That's not a, 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 a jiu-jitsu fight, a grappling inside the gym. That is completely fine to close your guard, sit, and work from your guard, which, which we have different, many, many weapons to do. But in a real fight, in a cage fight, or in a self-defense on the street, you don't want to pull guard. But the choke is too hard, too tight. You cannot apply the techniques that we did on class number five. You're going to sit, pull guard, and use some shoulder locks, kimuras, back catch, to uh, immobilize the other guy. Okay, let's go uh, the first technique. When they wrap your neck, okay, once and again, I go one, two, I put a base. It's too tight, super hard. I cannot move anywhere else. I'm gonna pull my guard and use a shoulder lock. Look, I'm sitting, closing my guard, Right on his shoulder, look, I cup my wrist, and then I just gonna look back and raise his wrist, look. Okay, so I'm applying the pressure on the back of his shoulder. Look, remember he was holding, I hold the wrist, and then I look back, look. Okay, let's go in a different, in a different angle here. Um, when the guy wraps my neck, I go one, two, I make a base. I sit, cross, close my guard, and then I use this, okay? Just for you to understand, right when, he, when he's falling, if he's holding the choke, the guillotine, he's gonna hit his face straight at the concrete right away. This is already a plus. He's gonna let it go, I can't do my shoulder. Base, see, sit, and close the guard. Look, look, look. Oh. Second technique. I'm gonna swift my hips outside, catch his back, and apply a choke. One, look. Base, close your guard. Again. Now, when he, you try to do the number one, he removes the arm. Hip skate, close, catch the back. Now, you can strike or you can apply a choke. Let me start from the floor here. He had the, the choke here, you sat, you closed your guard, remember? You try to do the number one, he removes the, Shift your hips, catch the back, apply the choke. Yes. 
Now, technique number three. I'm going to sweep him. I'm going to close my guard and sweep and move to the top. Here, one, two, sit, close the guard. Now look, I'm going to shift my hips sideways and apply a scissor sweep. Look. If he's holding your neck, shield. And you can control. One more time. Use your hips and your legs to do a scissor sweep. Base. Close the guard. Look, look. One more technique. I'm gonna apply a Kimura. Very famous, very popular technique in Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Base. Close my guard. This arm here, as soon as you release, look. Lock, hip outside, push. Be careful. One, two, base. Move this arm. Here, lock, hips. Keep moving. All right, so we're gonna wrap up the, the class with all the techniques before we do to our games. Here, base, pull guard, pull guard, remember, shoulder. Let's review from the shoulder. If it does not work, hip skate, go to the back, you can strike, you can put a choke. If, remember, sit back, pull guard, hip skate, scissor. Shield, escape, and the kibura. Pretend that you're sitting back, close your guard, remove over here, give here, hip escape, and move. Okay, that concludes our class with four different techniques. And then we're gonna finish with the game. Activity for the family. This is a family push-up drill. Dad first. Supposedly the strongest one is the dad, if not put the mom first. All right, in a push-up position. The second strongest one, um, so I'm thinking mom comes second, is gonna do another push-up position here. Ah, uh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back Okay? And then we can put the third kid, the fourth kid, the fifth kid in a, in a position and everybody gonna do push-ups together. This way, second family member, I'm gonna ask a third family member to come in, my daughter Julia. Okay, special. And now we all counting together. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Try to do sets of 10, the whole family. And of course, the first one to give up, gotta do something, funny dance, whatever. Guys, make sure you're recording everything, all classes, kids, teens, and adults, and parents having fun, and upload and send to us. Send to Sensei. Like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, go check all classes on our website and on the YouTube page. Thank you. Tune up for the next class, number seven. Peace.